What's crack like and everybody and welcome back to what is another Unlist Elite video and today's video wouldn't be possible without today's amazing sponsor, Smite. And if you don't know what Smite is, it's a free to play MOBA that revolves around mythical icons like Hades, Loki, even Ares. Now I don't know how to break it to you guys but I was actually playing this game a fair bit towards the end of school so it's really sick they wanted to sponsor today's video and it gets even better because they have just dropped a brand new arena called the Upside Down. That is right, they are collaborating with Stranger Things. So basically, Smite is completely free to download on like Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, PC, and once you've downloaded that bad boy, you can pick up the brand new Stranger Things Battle Pass and play as Eleven. I kid you not, you could also play as Hopper as well, which is absolutely fantastic, but then it gets even crazier. Because if you saw the gameplay for the Demigorgon, which you can play as, you would be freaking out like me. And then it gets even crazier on top of that, because you can play as the Mind Flare. So definitely be sure to download Smite, pick up the brand new Stranger Things Battle Pass. It's the sickest collaboration ever. I'll leave links down in the description. Click the first line and check it out. Thank you again to Smite for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. That is right guys, thanks to the legends over at Smite, we're not just going to crack open the brand new Pokemon Booster Box Towering Perfection that just came out over in Japan, but we're going to do a double hitter. We're also going to open up the other brand new Booster Box that everyone is talking about on the internet. Skystream. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is going to be absolutely off the charts. If you haven't demolished the like button, definitely do it. Click subscribe because inside of the Skystream booster box right are some of the craziest cards I think we've seen in the TCG this year. Just have a look at two of the alternate Requaza cards you can pull inside of this set. I know, ridiculous, but then it doesn't stop there because inside of this set as well, there is an alternate artwork Dragonite card that the internet has gone into Milkdown over. It is the coolest thing ever, so fingers crossed we can get that bad boy out of this one. But then I know what you're thinking. Man, if two alternate requires and a Dragonite's inside of that, what's going to be inside of Towering Perfection? And all I'm going to say, Flood Suicune. We've got a Batman card and none other than the alternate Deraludin that everyone wants to get. Gives me kind of like character art, Cosmic Eclipse vibes. But without further ado, I'm going to speed open all the boosters inside of these packs and we're just going to do a massive Pokemon card opening. I reckon, fingers crossed, we can get any sort of special art, but there are so many packs to get. Let's just uh, start opening them up. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to play favorites, but I think we're going to open up the Skystream Booster Box first right here because everyone is talking about the Special Art Requaza. It is, I think, the most bought Pokemon card right now. Like, everyone wants to get it. Everyone wants to buy it. We're going to start off with a Blissey. Then we're going to go to a nice looking Toxel right there. But there are absolutely an abundance of epic Pokemon that we could potentially pull out of this set. Now, being a Japanese set, you only get five cards per pack. You're not guaranteed a regular rare. You could just get a regular uncommon. Look at that. The bubblegum flavor Icy Pole is officially in the set. And I'll also link where to buy it down in the description. So if you want to like get it on eBay or something, I'll pop a link below. Stantler right there. And a hollow Salamence as our very first pull out of this set. Oh, I've got a good feeling. Trust me, every single card is a banger. When I saw the list come out, I was like, there's no way that anything could ever compete with the Skystream. And then I saw the list for Towering Perfection, and I was like, oh snap. They went and put a full art Suicune in that one. So I think they did a really good job dividing the cards between the two, but this one, between... Oh, what the heck? Vocarona? Are you serious? <laughs> I didn't realize that they had a V-Garden set, 160, 20, and 210. This is so head-drawn, it is ridiculous. Now, I think the ratio should still be the same, being a Japanese box. I reckon like three or four V cards, maybe one or two V maxes, and then the ultra rare. Whether it be a rainbow rare, a special artwork, full art card, whatever. Back on! Dragon types are officially back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Nice uh, Pansier right there, and then a Cloyster. Looks like he's low-key kind of drowning. All right, let's go one from the back. But yeah, absolutely really, really epic set. So many awesome cards, and I think 
Rayquaza is just an underrated, huge fan favorite. Um, that like, I don't know, doesn't get enough love in the TCG. So when he does have a set and the whole thing revolves around him, massive. And the fact that this is coming out in English next month, even crazier. So this is going to get a really good insight as to what to expect. Toxtricity makes a return. I'm not even mad. Toxtricity is a really epic Pokemon. They could put him in most sets and I think it'd still be really epic. So it looks like holo cards are about one in every two booster packs as well. But you've got to leave a comment. Like the whole point of today's video though, guys. You've got to leave a comment. Which one would you buy? Sky oh, what the flip? Oh, that caught me so off guard. That, there was a what the heck? There has never been a Pokemon card that has caught me that off guard. Ladies and gentlemen, as our ultra rare in the box, we pulled a rainbow rare for our Gyarados VMAX. Oh, look at the sparkle. There is a, I can see a print line there, but that's about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I knew that Gyarados had a uh, full art card in the set. Was not aware by any stretch that he had a uh, rainbow rare. What the heck is going on? Okay, 240, 120, really perfectly cut. It's just the print line I think would throw it off. Man, if our uh, Taran Perfection box can be half as good as this one, I'd be happy. Okay, so Rainbow Rare, that's our Hyper Rare. It's a Secret Rare on top of that too. 81 out of 67. Dude, that is how you want to kick it off. A Gyarados Rainbow Rare VMAX on our very first ever Skystream Booster Box. Oh... Okay, let's keep it going. I mean, we could still potentially pull a uh, gold card. There is like four, I think, uh, three trainers, one Pokemon gold card to pull in the set on top of that. Um, because those are like randomly inserted. But, oh, that's awesome. Fluffy, shout out to my Mareep at the back right there. Mareep's the absolute OG. And that's a really good artwork for Fluffy right there. Nice uncommon. I can't believe we just pulled a rain- I haven't pulled a rainbow rare in so long it feels like. Chilling rain's just been like ruthless to me. Oh, oh shout out to Mareep! My boy! And then we've got a regular uncommon Turdinator. Don't you love to? The uh, claw marks for the dragon logo right there. Interesting little touch. Alright, one from the back. Everyone needs to chill out. We got a scroll right here. Looks pretty cool, so scrolls the back, and then none other than a Dragonite V-Card! That is awesome! That is an absolutely fantastic pull right there. Dragonite's a staple. I low-key, if you guys get this video to maybe like 5,000 likes, I want to do another booster box of this. Maybe we'll open up a couple more. I really want the alternate artwork Dragonite. I think that's maybe just as cool, if not cooler, than the Rayquaza alt art. That's probably controversial to say everyone loves Rayquaza, but Dragonite Alternate Art is awesome. Even the V-Card, like, tell me that's not epic. Tell me so far, you're not on top of the world. We've got a Gyarados V-Max and a Dragonite V. I mean, Volcarona is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I know we got that. Ampharos hand-drawn. But those two, just in my books, going down is a massive win. Got the Ray Gun from Call of Duty Zombies, guys. Don't know why they put that in the set. Meditating Teddy Bear. Everyone gets around that. And then a mask. So it looks like a bit of a uh, drama acting card. One from the back. This is our third to last uh, booster. Got our favorite, Appleton, AKA Apple Pie. Shell God, and then boom, Rayquaza. So now we've got Dragonite, we've got Rayquaza V, and then we've got Gyarados Rainbow Rare. What the heck is gonna be in this pile? Probably gonna be a couple of VMAXs. Let's just pray that the VMAXs is a Rayquaza. Because if I can get this uh, V card right here, and then go and get a VMAX as well, the mascot is absolutely sorted. Okay, you guys gotta promise me. Please demolish that like button. Please share this video around. Oh! Landorus has a holo. Does that mean that Thunderous is in this set? Or is he in the, is... Tell me Thunderous has a holo. Oh, that would, that would blow my, that would blow my absolute mind. Okay. I'm kind of in shock right now. Looks like I've got a bit of a battleground right there. Mareep's in this set. Every time Mareep's in the set, it's absolutely fantastic news. Okay, let's move on to the next pile. The right-hand side of this booster box. Got a great ball. 
everyone's favorite, Snow Gorilla, and then Flapple. I love my Flapple. I love my Appleton. But that's just a regular uncommon in this set. That's okay. Back on the uncommon grind. Toxel, we can't ask for too much. And then Flaffy. Love that they've got Marit, Flaffy, and Ampharos all chilling inside of the set. Blissey and Chansey both have cards as well. That is huge. We're going to mine them. And then a Victini comes as the holo card. Casual, mythical, and uh, legendary Pokemon. Just chucking them in as holos. Ran out of slots in the V and V Max section. But let's hope that we can get a V Max card, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm sort of praying for in this half right now. Got the plus. Oh, then as I speak of it, as I literally speak of the card, we go and pull it. Oh my, okay. Am I really this lucky right now? Like, trust me, boxes aren't this good. I swear the pull ratios are way more difficult than what I'm showing you right now. Like, if I make it look easy, but definitely not like this. Rapuaza VMAX. Oh my goodness me. This is a good day today. I'm having so much fun. I think even if our second box right here, Towering Perfection, doesn't live up to it, uh, we've really done it. We've outdone ourselves. Okay. So we got Rayquaza flipping VMAX right now. Now, I don't know if it's one or two VMAXs per box. Um, it could be Ruthless and have just one. Because I don't know why at the moment. That's pretty cool. Got the uh, Alolan Regis as well as the Holo cards. But I think at the moment, um, I don't know what what's up with Pokemon. It just seems to be a bit more Ruthless. Like Chilling Rain introduced us to like, well... Don't expect too much on the pull rates. And I think these are trying to follow suit. Got the gloves coming back as well. Okay. Do you guys just get Loki kind of happy when you see that Marie card come up? Like, look at that. It's so adorable. And then, oh, jump off. Love to see it. Number three. Jeez, he's really just kicking off the set, isn't he? All right, get around that. Do you think we're going to have one more V card? Or do you think we've really done our dash and, like, that's all we're going to get? Stantler? Oh, I take everything back. It's the regular full colored version of Gyarados VMAX, ladies and gentlemen. That right there is our rainbow rare, but just colored in. Someone filled in the coloring in book for us. That is absolutely epic. And I think it makes our pull before 10 times better. Gee whiz, you can't tell me that's not gorgeous. Hand drawn and everything. 120, 240, 330 HP. All I'm doing right now, I think as I open up this set, I kind of think, this is coming out in English in a month. Is it a month? Yeah, it's literally, I think it's like four weeks away, this is coming out in English. So the more I open it up, the more I'm like, oh my, this is just going to look bonkers. She's a um, full art card in the set as well. There's a really nice full art card in the other set called Copycat. I'll put it on the screen. That's a really beautiful card I would love to pull. And I think it's a pretty big fan favorite on top of that. But yeah, the fact that this is coming in English, I can really start to picture it. That Gyarados, by the way, very hand-drawn. I can see a couple of lines on it. Okay, got the scroll right there. One from the back. Okay, this is our fourth. I think it is. Our fourth to last. They keep spawning these boosters, and I haven't got a problem with it. Because it means a potential another pull. Gee whiz. Could we get another V card? That seems like I'm asking way too much. Flaffy, Minum, Shogun, and then another Salamence Holo. Wow, doubling up. Interesting. Is the set that big? How big is it? 67. I guess it's big enough. I mean, uh, small enough to double up on. Got our little gym battle area. And then, I think I saw something. None other than Trevin and what the heck? <laughs> this is such a weird um, assortment of Pokemon. It's This one's a computer generated card and I do like it. Beautiful artwork. It's the type of card that you just generally put in your collection. Like, you enjoy to collect, you don't enjoy for the resale. And I love it. Maybe we should try and complete the set. Like, I'm feeling kind of confident. Although I reckon that requires an alt art would be the hardest card in the world to track down. Alright, this is our final booster of none other than Skystream. One of my favorite sets. And of course, Medichom. How many V cards did we just pull? Are you serious? Okay, Metacharm V-Card, it's going to end us off right there. Now, I'll put Metacharm at the back. Let's have this recap um, to the side right here. I'm going to do a recap at the end of both sets, but for now, I want to have that separate, and then we'll show off and compare the two ratios. And let's get all these cards out the way, because we've got Towering Perfection to open up right here. 
This is going to be so much fun. A lot of cards for us to try and get. And I've got high hopes. Look at these orange, though. Oh, sugar. This is more orange than my McLaren, guys. That is crazy. Okay, let's get trim the uh, tops of those ones off now and get this party started. Alrighty guys, after such a successful Skystream booster box, this towering perfection I'm hoping is just half as good. Now, I think one card everyone has not stopped asking me to try and get, it's the Special Art Neuburn V card. Now, why is that so popular? A, it does look like Batman, I do agree, like he's jumping down some sort of tower, but it's an arena drawn card, who is the same person that drew the base set Charizard. So that's a really special card I think I'd love to get. Um, another one would be the Golden Cresselia. That's pretty bonkers. Shiny Cresselia coming down as a gold card. That would be fantastic. But Special Art Deriludin as well would be fantastic. Oh, Dialga. Okay. That's not too bad at all. 210, 80, and 130. I'm actually getting around a lot of these holo cards. I gotta say, the choice, fantastic. And it's crazy. Deriludin made it as the cover art. Like, he's the mascot of the set. So maybe I think we'll definitely get a V-card of him, maybe we'll get a V-max, but it'll be interesting to compare the ratio on top of that as well to what we just sort of opened. Look at that Wobbuffet. It's like a balloon when you let it go, it goes... <laughs> what a weird observation. I don't know why you watch Booster Box openings with Ando. Gotta be the weirdest dude ever. Okay, let's keep it going. That's awesome! Yan Yoshi style on the wiggly top. Low tad. Oh, what the heck? Garbodor VMAX! Now, this, this artwork right here, absolutely fantastic because it actually links in to another card coming out in the near future. So there's a Pikachu card coming out which features the flying Pikachu airplane right here and that's on the card. There is all sorts of cameos all across Garbodor, like Substitute Doll right there. This is an epic VMAX to pull. You probably just have to have one in your collection to be able to point those things out to people. Um, there's like a school bus there, the magic school bus. Literally everything. Is that a cruise ship? I think that's the cruise ship right there that's in the surfing Pikachu art, if I'm not wrong. That's crazy though. That's awesome. Wow, Garbodor VMAX. So this is another one I guess that we need to pull, so I'm glad we did. And it takes our slot for the first VMAX that we got. Man, I absolutely butchered some of these boosters opening them up. My scissors are so blunt. That pack was destroyed. Alright, so we got an Absol right here. Not too shabby Absols in there. Got the Hitmonchan. And then we got another regular uncommon, and it's the gloves once again. So let's go one from the back. Very curious what our special art is, and if we pull Batman, I'm gonna be freaking out. Jigglypuff in a ball? That was pretty cool. And a Suicune V card! Okay, this is my sign to not forget. We've got to get the full art. The V card looks absolutely awesome, and could you imagine if it's that epic getting the regular? Imagine getting that full art. The neon blue or the aqua? Just gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so V card right there of Suicune. V Max of Garbodor. It is a very epic sort of selection right there. We've definitely got to open up a couple more boosters, booster boxes of each set. Just so we can see. Oh, what the heck? Galarian Articuno comes as a regular holo? That seems like a very epic pull for just a holo slot. Maybe that's just because we're off Chilling Rain, and like Chilling Rain, the whole set revolved around him. So for him then to get shoved as a holo card's a bit odd, but... Wow, that's nuts. Okay, Holo Galarian Articuno, copycat. This is a really nice card. As you can see, they're copying all the main trainers. This as a full art card, all the rage. Everyone wants it. And then... Regular Uncommon. Oh, wow, I'm genuinely curious what the other holo cards are, because I feel like we've... Oh gosh, that Drampa? It is, look at that! It's like alternate artwork Drampa in like cool crayon hand-drawn sort of style. Got the Wulu. Then... Uh, oh, that's not bad! Slack off or slacking, sorry. As our uh, regular holo. He's really just hitting the button there like he's on a game show or something and he knows the answer. Good old slacking as the uh, holo. So let's put that one at the back and let's keep it moving. I'm digging the left-hand side. I don't know what it is, Japanese booster boxes. But this left-hand side seems to be absolutely on fire. And as I say that, we go and get the regular uncommon. That's all good. 
Oh man, now I'm, all I'm thinking about is really that Suicune Fall Out card. The cops, so I guess you uh, put the table tennis ball around, then you wiggle the cops around, try to guess where it's gone. That's a cool looking artwork as well, isn't it? Man, I love the art on this set. And I think this is the set before Pokemon really starts to get crazy for the 25th anniversary. So they had to make it somewhat kind of special. They had to pick the right sort of Pokemon and get the fans interested so they wouldn't sort of skip this. Because I know a lot of people wanted to skip this. But when you got really good art like this, Space Helmet right there, uh, all the Pokemon selections, I think they did a fantastic job. There we go, Galarian Moltres. So Moltres is the biggest fan favorite bird out there at the moment. Looking good. And then I guess we're just going to get the Zapdos and we got all three as uh, holo cards and I guess they all come in this set. So this is like a bit of a side quest. Make sure you get all the birds as holo cards. And another regular uncommon. Alright, as the left comes to an end, I think we're going to have better luck on the right hand side if we don't get anything on this booster. Got the copycat. Hey, look at that! Waikirum! Nuts! Again, those mythical, those legendary Pokemon coming as uh, holo cards seems to be a bigger and bigger trend in the Japanese sets. So let's get our favorite orange colored boosters right here and start with the right hand side. I reckon this is just going to have the absolute goods. Absol, Hitmonchan, and then none other than Deraludon as the uh, VMAX card right there. That is amazing. Wow, he's exactly like he is in the front of the box with crazy swirls going here. Bit of a vomit green cross with like a purple in the background. Bit of blue as well. Dude, that is crazy town. This guy's such a tough one to defeat in the video games, if I remember correctly. I think what, Sword and Shield? Just a huge cookie to crack. But that's awesome. You always gotta get the mascot, guys. I think because you see him on the front of the box, you get so hyped, and then you see him as a VMAX guard, even better. But that VMAX, it's not gonna be our ultra rare. Like, we still have a really, really crazy hit coming up, guys. Love that artwork. Bowling Ball Jigglypuff. Noivern V card. Is this hinting towards something? Could you imagine getting the arena drawn Batman card? Bro, I would be freaking out. I might even just quit YouTube. And as I said, jump out that window and start paddling my way to New Zealand if we get the Batman card. Like, we'd have to skip the recap because I'd be doing that in my canoe as I'm sailing away that way. Okay, one from the back. We're about halfway, I want to say nearly halfway through this pile. Got the load sad, and then we're doubling up on holo cards, but it's not the end of the world, little Timmy. Very small set, coming in at the exact same number, 67 cards, plus the additional secret rares, and there's a lot of secret rares. That Gyarados was number 81 out of 67. Whoa! The regular V Garbodor! He's just gone crazy! All the sludge coming out of his veins, I guess it is? That's kind of weird when you think about it, isn't it? Okay, regular V Garbodor, you go at the back! I'm just getting so pumped. Our special crazy cards coming up. And Japanese booster boxes, they're known for not having like errors. They always contain an ultra rare or you can file for refund. I love that card. What is he doing? <laughs> he got so lazy just hanging on with one hand. Oh, the regular V version of Deraludon. That's awesome. Okay, so we've got the regular V. We've got the V Max. Is everyone ready? Because all I'm waiting for is that alternate artwork to come up. The special art, I believe it's called. One from the back. Get our favorite. This looks like the thing, the modern day contraptions you put your cat in, and then the cat goes for walks with you, which looks like a suitcase with a bubble. I don't know, you seen those things? Oh my goodness! Our full art card is a... It's a Garbador full art V card. But look at the texture. It's almost like floral patterns, but you know it's like trash. That has got a really deep layer of texture. There are three patterns going on there. I'm going to try really hard to give you guys HD close-up of this card, but it is unlike anything I've seen. There is a texture on top of the color texture, and the Pokemon is kind of embossed. Guys, that is really strange, but I do get around it. Okay, so our full art card isn't as epic as our Gyarados was, but I will definitely take it. And I think this screams to me as well. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're down, can we please open up two more boxes just for my binder? Like, I just want to get some more cards to have in the binder and another shot at getting those ridiculous cards I pointed out, I think it's totally worth it. And if this is just the mediocre caliber in the uh, terms of the set, like there's a tier above this, oh my goodness. We've definitely got to do it. 
I want to say this is the final six or seven uh, boost packs, guys. Now, they could be, as I always say, gold card, randomly inserted. Wooloo, just looking up at the stars. Love that. And a Hydragon. Dragon types are back, baby. And this is the celebration set. And I wonder how many cards are making it into the English. I do think, like, no matter what requires is getting in there, um, you got to have the EVs in the set as well, coming in English next month. But there won't be every single card we see. They can't physically put every single in. They're gonna like get rid of a couple. I wonder what's gonna get the boot and what's gonna make it all the way through. Hopefully Suicune will. I think it should. That's cool enough in my books. <laughs> every time I see this Pokemon, do you think Detective Pikachu? Do you think the bar scene? I do. <laughs> Maybe that's just because I've watched that movie way too many times on Netflix. All right, let's keep going. Toxic Croak, and then everyone's favorite astronaut helmet. Fourth to last booster. This is the final one. Ice Koo, I love you. I love you in shiny form even more. Pink Ice Cube Ice Koo. That's a sentence you can't say ten times fast. And then we're on the third to last pack, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think we can get with a Lotad and a Gorgias? All right, second to last. I reckon one more V. I think one more V. And that's not me being greedy. I just reckon there could be something else in there. Shame we didn't get the copycat. It's down to the final pack. What do you think we're gonna get? Come on. We actually had really good luck. I reckon that booster box of Skystream might be a little bit better. But Drumper, you're gonna come through with your weird alternate looking art. Here we go, dub wall, and then... Toasty! All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a recap of these two absolutely epic sets. But it is all up to you guys in the comments. I want little Timmy to leave a comment. Which set is your favorite? You've got Skystream, all about the Rayquaza, or the other bad boy, Towering Perfection. Let's have a Skystream recap right now. This one right here, we got some bonkers hits in, but keep in mind there are good cards in the other set too. Don't be too biased, but let's have a look. We've got two Salamence cards, then a Toxtricity on top of that. Landorus came in out of nowhere. I don't even know if Thunderous is in the set at all. But it probably makes sense knowing Tornadus was in the other one too. Really good amount of hollows. Then we went and got a couple of good V cards. I'm talking Dragonite as a casual regular V. Then the Rayquaza, Trevenant out of nowhere, Metacharm. That's so strange. But then Rayquaza coming through as a staple V Max. That's a hit and a half. And then Dra I mean not, not Dragonite. Gyarados. V Max. Full colored form. This is where it gets crazy, because I know what you're thinking. What does that look like in the ultra rare format? There you guys go. I just don't even know what to say. You can just take that in for a minute. That right there is the pinnacle of Pokemon card collecting. When you get the VMAX and the Rainbow Rare of the same card, just gonna look unreal in the binder. So, that was Skystream, but then when you have a look at Towering Perfection, this is just as good. Galarian Articuno, coming in as a regular Smegular Holo. You got uh, why Dialga as a regular holo, Slowking, and then you've also got Galarian Moltres, Waikirim double up, everyone's favorite bartender, and then Hydreigon. Then you've got him went to pull the Suicune V card, who does come as a full art, Noivern, who's like the number one special art, Garbodor, Zeraludon, then the Garbodor V Max with the hits to future Pikachu artworks on it. That's a staple anyone's gonna collect. And Daryl V Max, but the Garbodor Full Art was the hit of the box. That was the uh, be all and end all of Towering Perfection. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who wins that battle right there? They're the two brand new sets that just came out over in Japan, and I'm so excited for this coming out in English next month. Let me know. Smash the like button, hit subscribe. Thank you again to Smite for sponsoring today's video. Remember to check out the link below. Most of all, keep on gaming. Until next video, guys, I'll see you then.